What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Giselle and I'm an ultrasound technologist who lives in Las Vegas and loves all things Disney. <laughs> and if you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Hope you guys like this video and subscribe so that you can join our family and never miss a video again. Today is a very special day, you guys. It's the first day of my full time position. And yeah, usually full time positions, when you first start off, they have to start on a new pay period. So today is Sunday, but my shift is Saturday, Sunday, Monday, graveyards, 3 30 p.m. to 4 a.m. So it's gonna be a wild ride, y'all. And today's video, I'm basically gonna to talk to you guys about the differences between being a full-time tech and a per diem tech. So what's gonna change for me? And I hope you guys stick around and listen to what I have to say, because some of you guys are gonna to have to decide whether you wanna do a per diem shift or a full-time shift. And so with that being said, I hope you guys stick around, grab your snacks, grab your drinks, and we'll just jump right into the video. All right, here we go. All right, you guys, so before we get into the nitty gritty of the stuff, comparing full time and per diem shifts, this information is all about my hospital and what they offer me. So if you have questions about full time versus per diem or part time, make sure you are asking your place of work these questions because every place is gonna be different. A hospital that has a big corporation behind it versus a small hospital versus a clinic outpatient facility, doctor's office, everyone is gonna offer you different benefits for each type of shift. So what I'm gonna tell you guys is all about where I work and so it's not gonna be like that everywhere you go, but this is just to give you guys an idea of what you need to look for in a position and what you need to look for for full time and per diem because you are in charge of your shift and your position and what you're getting. You need to make sure you're asking them so you know what you're getting yourself into. I told myself that I would do full time if it fits in my life and for what I'm doing at the time. And so we're going to go over those kinds of things that you need to think about when accepting a full time, part time or per diem position. The first question you guys want to ask about your shift is what are the hours or what's the shift like? Because for me, my shift is a graveyard shift. So as a full timer, you usually have set schedules and set days off. So you're gonna be offered whatever shift they have available. Now at my hospital, there's a ton of different shifts, but what was offered to me was a graveyard shift and so I decided to take it. Now as a per diem tech, what I used to do was come in and fill in wherever they needed me. So whenever somebody went on PTO or vacation or called in sick, I was one of the people they would ask to come in or put me on the schedule to cover for that person. So as a per diem tech, I was never on a set schedule. I never had set days off. And now as a full timer, I will have a set schedule and set days off. Now, as far as hours, you're gonna ask them, what are the hours like? As a per diem, we usually worked about 20 to 40 hours a week, even overtime, because I work at a very busy hospital. But if you are full-time, you're usually gonna be 36 hours or more, so 36 to 40 hours. You can be a per diem tech and work one or two days. It just kind of depends on what they offer you and what that place of work requires you. But for me, I worked a ton of hours as a per diem tech, and when I worked two jobs, I would just make sure that both jobs knew I had two jobs. And then I scheduled everything that I had at my second job according to whatever I had available after scheduling the hospital. So I would have my hospital schedule first, and then I would schedule the outpatient job in between wherever I could fit it. So it's possible to have two per diem jobs. It's also possible to have one full-time job and a per diem job. So however much you wanna work and however hard you wanna work, it is up to you. Per diem, you kinda of have more flexibility with your schedule versus full time, you have a set schedule and you are expected to be there. The next thing you guys wanna know about your full time position or your per diem position, what are the benefits? So most of the time as a per diem tech, you don't get any benefits because the benefits to being per diem is you get a flexible schedule, you probably get more pay, and you get to choose when you can and can't work. But as a full-time tech, you usually get benefits. And with those benefits, PTO becomes an option for you, which is paid time off. And then health benefits, like 
health insurance, vision insurance, and dental insurance. You can also ask for a 401k, which is for your retirement funds. And as a per diem tech, what I had for benefits was 401k. I was able to build my 401k since I've been here, since I started working as a per diem tech, and now it's just transferred over as a full-time tech and I still get that. So my hospital actually provides 401k for those who are per diem techs. At the outpatient place I worked at, we got no benefits as a per diem tech. And most places don't really offer you benefits as a per diem tech because that's just something about a per diem tech. You don't really get benefits. But here, they were nice enough to give us a 401k. But now that I'm gonna be full time, I get health insurance. So there's a couple that they let you choose from. You can pay for it or you can get the free one which some places have different options for you. And then you can do vision and dental, which are just literally a few bucks off of your paycheck. And yeah, it's pretty cool to know that I get insurance through them. And before, when I was not insured by them, I had to pay monthly, like a big chunk monthly, to get my own health insurance. Because at a certain age, you don't get health insurance out here in the United States. So it's really beneficial for you to get a job with benefits. And when I have kids or when I get married, the benefits can also work with my family. So that's super, super helpful. Now that I have all of those benefits, it's gonna be really cool to just be able to know that I'm taken care of. Every company has different types of insurance and benefits. So make sure you ask them what they include in your full-time per diem or part-time position. Now, as far as PTO goes, Paid time off means that when I go on vacation, I still get to get paid. So as a per diem tech, I didn't get paid when I was off. And now I'll be able to get paid when I go on vacation, which I think is pretty cool. So that's another benefit of being full time. Another thing you need to consider when you're choosing full time or per diem shifts, you have to ask them, what is it like when you want to request a day off or have time off from work? So it's important as an ultrasound technologist to have a work-life balance and it's possible to have a work-life balance as long as you learn how to say no to shifts when they ask you and you really can't work as a per diem or when you're actually requesting days off for big life events and time off for you and your friends and your family and so it's important to ask them how does it work for our hospital in general as a per diem tech you can just tell them, hey, I can't work this, 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 I can't work this day, or I have plans this day or that weekend, et cetera, et cetera. So I would just make sure I have days requested off as a per diem tech, important dates, and I would get them off usually because as a per diem tech, you don't have to work certain days. You just have to make sure you're meeting what's required so what's required here is per diem techs have to work at least one weekend shift and i think that's pretty much it as a full timer in order for me to get off now i have to make sure that a per diem tech is available to even cover my shift so if i want a day off i have to check the calendar that we have we have this pto book and if there are already two techs off that day we have to make sure somebody else is available, another per diem tech, or I have to ask somebody to switch shifts with me, and that's kind of how it works. Also, if I want time off, I have to make sure I have enough PTO hours, paid time off hours, and those are accrued with every single paycheck. So it's a little bit harder to get days off as a full-time tech, but they work with you as long as you have someone to cover you. So I would now have to ask the per diem techs like, hey, can you cover this shift for me? Or are you able to switch this shift for me? And it kind of just all depends on where you work, how many per diem techs there are, but it's kind of just like, make sure you have your shift covered as a full-time tech and you can probably get that day off. That's one thing that I kind of am gonna miss about per diem, which is making my schedule a little bit how I want it to be. But at the end of the day, having a set schedule, I think is more important than not knowing when I'm gonna work and having random days off. So I'm excited for this experience. Hopefully it's a good one. The next thing you guys should be aware of are holidays. So of course we have to spend holidays with our families and our loved ones, but sometimes 
as a full-time tech, you're gonna have to be required to work holidays in a hospital. Remember, hospitals are open 24 seven. They don't close. So holidays are just a normal day, but you do usually get time and a half, which is your hourly pay plus half of that hourly pay per hour that you work on that holiday shift. So how this works in a hospital is that usually you guys are assigned to the holiday and it goes by seniority. Seniority gets to pick whatever holiday they want and then it goes down the list and then you kind of just choose as you go which shift you want. And then every year when holiday schedules come around, the top seniority person goes to the bottom of the list since they got to choose. And then so that number two person gets to choose. So it's like fair, right? All stuff is done in fairness and by seniority here in the hospital. Now, as far as per diem go, usually they are at the very bottom. So they kind of just get stuff with whatever's left as far as holidays go. And so that's just how it is here. Every year I've worked multiple holidays and sometimes throughout the year, full timers can give their shift to per diem techs because if per diem techs want the opportunity to work more, then they can work more and take shifts from the full timers. So it just kind of depends on what kind of holidays you end up with and if there's a per diem tech available to cover holidays for you if you don't wanna work holidays. In an outpatient setting, most outpatient settings and doctor's offices aren't open on holidays, so you don't even have to worry about that. But I think holidays is important to consider when you do work in a hospital. And right now, I don't have any holidays for the rest of this year. I only worked 4th of July, so it doesn't seem like I'm gonna have any holidays. And we'll see what happens when the holiday bidding goes around for next year. All right, you guys, the last thing I want you guys to think about when you are choosing between full-time and per diem or even part-time is obviously one of the most important things. And that is, what is the pay? What's the pay difference? What are you gonna get? Being full-time and being per diem are two totally different things. So both have their pros and cons and both have their benefits to each of them. And as a per diem tech, you usually get paid a little bit more. And that's usually in the hospital setting. Now the pay is going to be different in every single place that you work, whether it be hospital, outpatient clinic, doctor's office, if you're a contracted tech or if you're a travel tech. Everywhere you go, it's going to be different. Now for me personally, in the hospital, we make a lot more as a per diem tech. For our hospital specifically, once you become full time, your pay actually gets cut because you are receiving benefits like PTO, health insurance, vision and dental. So, you know, it kind of like evens itself out. As a per diem tech, you make a lot more, but you don't get the insurance. And as a full-time tech, you get paid less, but you do get all these benefits that come with the full-time position. So yes, I did get a pay cut going from per diem to full-time, but at the end of the day, I had to weigh everything out and I realized that now that I have insurance, that's pretty good. And now that I have PTO and a set schedule, it kind of is just okay with me to have that pay cut. I know you guys always ask about how much does an ultrasound tech get paid? That question is so broad because it depends on where you work, how experienced you are, and some people say registries, but honestly, some people can have a lot more registries than you and still get paid less. So at the end of the day, make sure you talk to your employer and ask them how much you're gonna get paid and what it's worth, if, if full-time is better for you or per diem is better for you kind of weigh everything out and see what works for you and what's best for your lifestyle. All right, you guys, I know that was a lot of information and I hope you guys enjoyed all of that. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you are not yet a part of the family. And just know that I'm here for every single one of you. If you need any more clarification, have any more questions, comments, concerns, specific things, 
always know you can comment down below and I will respond to you or DM me on Instagram at lolgiselle or email me at lolgiselle at gmail.com for anything else that you guys need. I am here for you. I talk to you guys every single day and I really do appreciate every single one of you guys for being a part of the family and for sitting here and listening to me talk about ultrasound. <laughs> Seriously, you guys are the best. Keep on doing your research and remember to be kind to one another, stay safe and stay positive. And as always, We'll see you in the next video. Bye.